I'm here today to talk to you guys kind of, oh, let me get closer, kind of about just my acne story and when I started getting acne, how it made me feel, tips, etc., etc. So, yeah, you can ask me anything. Oh my gosh, you guys are like blowing up my phone. I don't know why I feel so nervous. I love talking to you guys. Um, where can I buy your products in NYC? So, if you're talking about the Vanish Starter Kit, Vanna White, right here. Um, yeah, you can get that right here on Vanish, on the website. Link in bio. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna do like kind of story time-ish. So kind of growing up, I always had acne, like I would get a spot or two, I think like normal teenage hormonal acne. I thought it was normal. I don't know, I don't know if that's normal to you guys. But I would always get like a spot or two and that never really bothered me. But then as soon as I hit like, I'm gonna say when I hit like 20 or 21, my face freaked out. And for me, it was really embarrassing because it, I felt like everyone before who, when we were in high school, their faces had cleared up. And then it was like, I had just started to break out. And I remember sitting in one of my college classes and looking around and trying to find someone else, like anyone else who had acne. And I couldn't find a single person. And to me, I guess that was just really like, oh my gosh, I felt, I don't know, I felt it really hard. I felt really isolated. And I think no matter what age you get acne at or like how severe it is, I think it impacts everyone the same, which is obviously really bad, but <laughs> I guess it's kind of a cool way to think about it. Um, so yeah, it hit me just bam, like all of a sudden. And I was like, what the heck is going on? I had no changes in diet, no changes in skincare, no changes in any of my hair products. Uh, stress levels are the same. I've been on the same birth control since I was like, I think 16. So I just, I kind of was freaking out. I was like, I don't understand what's going on. And when I went to my dermatologist, she said, you know, you have severe cystic nodular acne. And since it's come so fast and it's scarring your face so rapidly, the only thing I think that's gonna work for you is Accutane. And I was very, very hesitant. I don't wanna do it at all. I've heard so many bad things about it. I was like, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So we tried like several creams. We tried antibiotics. And then finally I was like, okay, you know what? I, I'm scared of the side effects, but I'm more terrified about how I feel about myself right now. So I think that was what made me take it. Um, I just, I hated waking up and not wanting to look in the mirror and working in retail, you know, you're always passing by mirrors. You're in the terrible, terrible fluorescent lighting and it literally shows everything. And you're like, God, can you not please get out of here? And so, um, I don't know. I just, I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. And so I did it and it's been great. Honestly, my face has stayed really clear. And the only thing is like, obviously you can see, and you can go to my Instagram too. I get like a pimple every now and then, but that's not really that big of a deal to me. I feel like that's normal, right? I don't know, I think that's normal. So then I went to Accutane, worked out really well. And then now my skin, yeah, it's been pretty good. Like it's kind of been like the teenage thing before, like I would get a pimple every now and then, but. It's not, it's not, that's not nothing, hunty. That's not nothing. Old pale and spidotes. Thank you for saying that I look pretty, girl. You're pretty too. You make me have confidence of myself. And you should be confident because why not? Because society says that Ackley is, <laughs> Ackley, who is Ackley? Acne is ugly. So you can say that it's cute. You can, <laughs> I know it's so weird to think about, but you can label anything as anything and it works. Um, yeah to Sabi says, did you have hyperpigmentation? I did. And the Banish oil has helped with that a lot. Vanna White, uh, I actually don't have it out here. Banish oil has helped with that a lot. And other than that, if you try organic rosehip seed oil, 
I think that works really well if your skin is sensitive. And then also I use a Retin-A, like retinoid cream, and that helped a lot. Um, okay, how do you reduce oily skin? Ooh, so I don't know about reducing. Since I've taken Accutane, my skin has definitely changed. It used to be like by the end of the day, my makeup was just falling down like an oil slick. And then now it kind of just stays matte. Um, but I would go for, you know, don't overwork it because I've heard that oily skin is dehydrated skin. So make sure that you're drinking tons of water and just do like a basic, you know, face wash, uh, moisturizer, and then maybe like an oil or something with that's rich in antioxidants at night. Do you use the whole Banish kit? I do. I use the starter kit. So it has the pumpkin enzyme mask. Uh, the char I had to look, okay, the charcoal mask, um, the derma roller, the pore smasher, oh god, the vitamin C beauty elixir, and then the pin stamp, and the, by the derma roller, I mean the banisher, I know y'all are gonna correct me, it's the banisher, okay, no one asked why I was wearing makeup, well, I did have to go to work today, so I haven't been able to wash it off yet, but if you go on my Instagram, you can tell that it does actually work. And if you go, I think the link is still in my bio. Um, there is a YouTube video of me trying pretty much everything out that's in the Banish Starter Kit. Somebody, okay, let's see what you said. Oh my god. Valerie Knowles says, what about Bacne? Um, again, I was on Accutane. I didn't have any Bacne, but... Surprisingly, I do get that question a lot, and hopefully my sister won't be mad, but my sister asked me about acne a lot. My husband was struggling for it for a wee little bit, and with him, we had a, it was like a detox charcoal wash, and then one of those charcoal sponges, and that cleared it up. Did you quit dairy? Yeah, so I did cut back on dairy a lot. Um, Dairy is linked to hormonal acne. It's kind of a form of intolerance, so your body can't properly process the dairy. So instead of, you know, getting physically sick, like some uh, lactose intolerant people, your skin like excretes it, if that makes sense. So it's trying to get rid of it through your skin. So yes, I have cut back on dairy drastically, but I'm not gonna lie, I do eat it every now and then because YOLO. <laughs> What's on my neck? <laughs> Okay, so this is a crinkly ass, it's a crinkly fake tattoo. It was like supposed to be a metallic lip tattoo because Urban, I, I work in like makeup. So Urban Decay came out with a new lipstick and we got these tattoos. It's like, oh, I'm gonna put it on my neck, I'm gonna look so cool. And everyone's like, you look gross. So <laughs> that's what that is. What type of skin do I have? Um, oily, sensitive, acne prone, everything. <laughs> Everybody keeps asking about hyperpigmentation. Yeah, try rosehip seed oil, like the organic raw rosehip oil. Wear a mask of it before bed. I swear that'll help. Do it for, you have to do it for like a couple months. I feel like anything just takes persistence and time. You know, you can't just do it once and then be like, it doesn't work. How long did I wait to start Banish? Um, so I waited about five and a half months. So my dermatologist told me six months and that's like the normal, but I was like, I can't wait anymore. I gotta, I gotta do it. So I did, I waited uh, five and a half months. And actually earlier I told my Snapchat fam to message me questions. So I have a list and I wrote them down. <laughs> so I'm gonna answer these as well. Um, okay, so somebody asked what brought about my acne. So my acne, again, I didn't have any changes in my diet, face wash, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, what my dermatologist thinks is that it was genetic because my dad had really bad acne when he in his 20s, had it for like a year, and then it just went away. What? What? Yeah, exactly. So that's, I don't know. That's what she thinks is that it's genetics, and I'm hoping that it was just going to be really bad for a year and then go away. But we'll see because I was like, Mom, I'm on my period. Look what happened. And my mom was like, me too, look what happened. And she's like 50. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'm gonna have acne forever. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. 
answer that question and get it, okay? How long have I suffered with acne? So again, started when I was in middle school, uh, but didn't get really bad until I was in my 20s. Which I feel like regardless, if you suffered with it all through middle school, high school, and then just into adulthood, that's bad. But I feel like it's just as bad being told like, I keep saying like, being told like, you're so cute, you're so, oh, your hair looks good. And then all of a sudden just everyone silence and like no one acknowledges you, especially when you're in your 20s and you're in college. I feel like that's like a really vulnerable time and a time that you're like learning a lot about yourself. Um, okay, why did I decide to go on Accutane? Basically because I just felt like I had no other options. Um, I felt as if I had tried everything and that it was coming so fast and damaging my skin so harshly. I wanted to do it more as a preventative measure. I wanted, like, you know, the least amount of damage to my skin as possible. So I felt like going on Accutane would help to prevent that. And then hopefully I wouldn't have to worry about any of that in the future. Why did I start my Instagram, my face story? So I started that Instagram, it, probably a lot of people would not think this, but I started my Instagram because I wanted a before and after picture. I'd seen them on like acne.org or something. And I wanted a before picture where, you know, I was completely covered and after picture where my face was like, looking good, Felicia. So that's why I did it was to track my progress. But along the way, I found that so many people were like reaching out to me and that I was helping other people. So that's why I keep it. I keep using it to continue to, you know, just talk to the whole acne community. Uh, what's the difference between cystic nodular acne and then regular breakouts? So regular breakouts, will pretty much last you know a normal cycle like three to seven days they'll come to like a whitehead or maybe you'll have like some blackheads but cystic acne will linger under the skin like for months i had one oh my god it hurt so bad so bad it was on my nose right here and it lasted i'm not kidding you probably like eight months and the longer it lasts and the deeper it gets, that's how scars form. And I had no clue because I was told the old wives tale, like if you pick at your skin, scars will form. So I was like, I'm not picking, I'm not picking, not me, okay? And I did not pick a single one. And I feel like it's not understood at all. Like I feel like people look at me and they think that I must've picked my skin or like I did this to myself, but I didn't do a thing. All right, get it straight. <laughs> so. Yeah, the longer that it lasts, the more uh, the collagen fibers in your skin will become permanently stretched, basically, and that is what causes acne scarring. My skincare routine post Accutane. You guys, you know, it's Banish. It's always been Banish. Um, yeah, the starter kit, pore eraser, banisher, pen stamp, pumpkin enzyme mask, charcoal mask, and vitamin C beauty mixer. Besides Accutane, what else has helped with my acne? And I think this is so important because I have seen time and time again, people's acne come back and I don't think it has a lot to do with their, uh, I think it does have to do with genetics. I think it does have to do with skincare routine, but I think mostly it has to do with diet. Um, for me, cutting out dairy, again, it's helped a lot. Cutting back on dairy, not cutting out completely, just cutting back, has helped. And also um, reducing stress, which, I feel like we all need to do anyways, but stress causes acne. I mean, if you can try at least working out like a couple times a week or just finding balance, like cutting back, there's so many things that I had to cut back on. Just take like a couple hours or even an hour just for yourself to like slap on a face mask and a hair mask and get a bubble bath going. All right, so those are all the questions I had from them. So I'm gonna keep going onto your guys's. Um, I'm not gonna say your username because it's inappropriate, but you said you're so terrified of using the needle roller. So the derma roller doesn't hurt at all. It is 0.5 millimeters and it's made of titanium. So you are probably not going to have an allergic reaction. And they didn't correct me on this, so I'm pretty sure that it's naturally like 
anti oh, bacterial <laughs> so um yeah it doesn't hurt at all feels like a sunburn i swear like just give it a try and they do have 30 day money back guarantee i'm pretty sure so if you don't like it then you can always return it when did i start seeing results from banish oh i think probably like during this month maybe last month so two and a half to three month mark i started seeing results so i feel like that's pretty fast especially for how afford affordable it is starting accutane this month should i also start banish um yes and no so you could use the mask while you're on accutane um, but do not use the derma roller because your skin's going to be so thin and sensitive that you don't want to reduce or you don't want to increase the risk of scarring even more um so i would wait i didn't do you know anything to my skin while i was on it because i was told just let it run its course and then you can do stuff after um so you could use masks but i would not use the derma roller uh people are asking what my ig name is it is my face story my uh, my face story like a book i use the vitamin c serum it makes my face super oily and i only use two drops so you don't need a whole lot. Um, I wouldn't even use two vials full. I barely use one vial full. And try if you have the pore smasher using that beforehand before you put it in because that will kind of like tighten everything up and I feel like it absorbs the product better after you do that. And also you could try using it only at night and rinsing off in the morning. That's what I do. I can't wear it during the day because I agree with you. It makes my skin oily if I would use it during the day, so I only use it at night. Somebody says, what's the banish? You don't know what the banish is? Why are you here? This is banish. What do you mean, what's the banish? Oh my days. Uh, moisturizer that's worked best for you. The vitamin C cream. Yes, it is the bee's knees. It doesn't, it absorbs really quickly. Doesn't use my, doesn't, oh my doesn't make my face oily and what else do I like about it I don't know I it's organic it's natural that's what's worked the best for me I feel like it's really hard really hard to find a good moisturizer that doesn't make my face oily so that is number one in my book I just got mine in the post I'm so happy for you send me a pic send me a pic man does vanish work on the red marks that are left behind from acne yes Queen, definitely. It will help that so much. So, so much. Did you use the derma roller? Yes. So what they call it is the banisher. And don't buy from other companies because they're not regulated. They could put, they could make it out of anything. And I made that mistake. I told you guys before, I made that mistake on Amazon. Um, <laughs> I bought like the jankiest derma roller and I was like, oh, this is so great. And I did see results with it, but it kind of hurt. Um, <laughs> I don't know what they made it out of, but it kind of hurt and I wanted to talk to them about returning it and when I went back on Amazon, they had gotten rid of it <laughs> and there was nothing in the post, like it didn't have any brand name and people would ask me like, where'd you get it, where'd you get it? And I'm like, I really, like, I don't know. So, yes. What do I wash my face with? Um, I just use the, what I've always used is the Neutrogena Sensitive Skin. So it's just like a big, with a pump. And it's, uh, how much is it? I think it's like 10 bucks. It's not bad, and it'll last few months. How long for me to see changes in my scarring? Hmm. Using Banish or just in general? Because I've been working on them for a while, and I feel like it's hard to tell um, unless you're taking pictures, which is, you know, why I started my Instagram, because I wanted to progress and yeah probably two and a half months of consistency it took me to see changes in my scarring i've been using the banisher and vitamin c only would that be the reason why i haven't seen it as much as a change hmm i don't know you know everyone's skin is different and everyone's skin repairs at different rates um we're all different. That's like the awesome, beautiful thing about us. Um, but 
You should be seeing a difference if you are using the Banisher and the Vitamin C. I do think that the Pumpkin Enzyme Mask works really well at exfoliating. So you could try that as well because it could shed like the dead skin that's on top and then use the Banisher and then the Vitamin C serum. That might do it for you. Their starter kit, no, it doesn't. Ooh, I look pale. Oh girl. The starter kit does not come with a cleanser. Um, but they do have one. They do have one. And I heard it's good. I haven't tried it, but I heard it's good. Good news, bears. Uh, does the roller make your skin permanently red? No. 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 Um, it'll make it red, and it should fade in about a couple hours. I usually do it at night before bed, and I wake up, and my skin is fine. Yeah, it will not make your skin permanently red. Obviously, it's irritated because you have micro needles puncturing, like, micro wounds into your skin. Um, but it will not make your skin permanently red, I promise. I know you said it doesn't hurt, but is the roller thing full of needles? Yes, it is like full of micro needles, but they're super tiny. So they're tiny enough to like puncture your skin and collagen production, but they're not gonna make you bleed, which is good. How often do I moisturize and which moisturizer do I use? Um, I moisturize every morning. And I use the vitamin C cream from Banish. And then at night, I use the, oh, they just changed the name. What is it? The Banish oil. At night, I use the Banish oil. So I guess technically twice a day. Somebody, <laughs> like three people said something about my teeth and that they're white. I don't use anything. They just white, girl. They just white. I was just born with naturally great whale teeth. Um, I do use Sensodyne. If that helps. I don't know. I have sensitive teeth. I like, err. How old am I? Uh, 22. <laughs> I had to think about that. That's bad. It's real bad. <laughs> oh my god, why is everyone asking how old I am? The moisturizer you recommended from Banish. Yes, it's from Banish. It is the vitamin C cream. It's amazing. It comes in like this little jar, but it'll last you a really long time. You only need a tiny amount. And the great thing about it too is that you can use it as a primer. So sometimes I don't even need to put anything else on my face before I put my makeup on. Foundation do I use? So I used to use Dermablend a lot. Um, but now, recently, I've been, <laughs> I've been using the L'Oreal Matte Infallible Pro. Honestly, it's pretty dang good. Like, it's a, definitely a best kept secret. It's like 10 bucks. It's good. And it doesn't break me out, too. I was so worried about switching, and I haven't had any problems with it. Is it okay to use the Banish Serum and... Oh my god, my forehead. Ooh. Ooh. It's okay to use the Banish Serum and Cleanser while you're on Accutane. Uh, I think it should be. I think it should be um, like sensitive enough for your skin. Again, I used like the rosehip seed oil. So the Vanish oil I think should be fine. And it also does have rosehip in it. So I think that should be fine. And the Vanish, the cleanser that they make is also great. So it should be good. Do I speak Spanish? Hola. Espanol. That's all I know. I don't, I don't even know if that's anything, but that's all I know. No, I know. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Da, 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 da. The Fergalicious song. So, <laughs> that's seriously all I know. Moisturizer, yes, from Banish. What does the roller actually do? That is a great question. So, the roller fix your skin. Okay, so it uses the tiny micro needles, and when you're rolling it over your face, it tricks your skin into reproducing more collagen. So it's basically using natural, like your body, natural resources to recreate collagen, and then it'll smooth out over time. What products do you use after? Are there certain ones you can't use? Um, no, I, I think any like vitamin rich serum would be good to use after. I prefer the Banish oil. I think it goes the best because it was made to go together. Two peas in a pod. Do you have issues with redness? If so, what do you use to combat? I feel like no matter what products, I always have some redness. I was, and especially after Accutane, I was having like hot flashes like in the middle of the day or just when I felt tired or stressed, it would just be like, like my whole face, I could feel it happening. I don't know if that ever happens to you guys, but 
I don't know. I'm gonna attribute it to Banish, okay? But I could be wrong, but I feel like since I started using their products, my skin has really calmed down a lot. Somebody was asking about Mario Betta Shoe. Um, I don't use their products because it has propylene glycol in it, and that is very bad for you. If I'm on Accutane, should I use Banish? Oh, uh, everyone keeps asking this one my days. Um, you should use it five and a half months after the derm roller. You can use the mask and everything else while you're on it if you feel little heart desires, but you can't use, um, you know, the derm roller because your skin will be way too thin and sensitive. Am I married? Yes. What products do you use after a rolling session? Are there certain ones you can't use? Um, I use the Banished Oil after I roll. There aren't certain ones that you can't use. I wouldn't use like a scrub or anything. That would be kind of scary. Story time, okay. And I hope he doesn't get mad at me, but a friend of mine at work actually told me about his acne scarring and told me that his is so bad, that's why he started getting tattoos. Like he is covered in tattoos. He said he had really bad acne, and so he started getting tattoos to cover him, had acne on his arm, started getting tattoos to cover him. And he told me that he tried derma rolling. He didn't talk to me about it, Okay, so I would have told him, like, no, this is wrong, do not do this. But he used the derma roller, wait, wait for it, and then he scrubbed his face. And I was like, no, no, no. So don't, I mean, don't do that. That is bad because you're making tiny micro wounds and I feel like that would just like rip it open. So you wanna use a vitamin, probably a vitamin C or just some kind of antioxidant rich serum. Preferably the banish oil. Everyone's from Brazil. Hello, Brazil. Hello, Switzerland. Hello, Colombia. Can you show the products you use and how to use them? Go to my Instagram and in my bio, there's a link and you will see me using every single product in the banish starter kit, which is what I've been using. And you will be oh so happy. Does it really shrink pores? The pores from last year? Yes, definitely. Like as soon as you use it, your face looks amazing. Like amazing and i again i told you guys i've been breaking out like i think it's pretty unrealistic to think that you'll take accutane and never break out ever 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 again in your life i've always broken out around my period one or two that's fine um but yeah so i've been using the pore smasher on it and honestly i think it has reduced the lifespan of this this little guy right here frederick the third because he was like huge and three days and he's almost gone and my cysts have always lasted like months someone said kentucky how'd you know how'd you know i live in kentucky girl who is you see when you disinfect banish with rubbing alcohol right after the water or you just wait for the rubbing alcohol to dry then start rolling oh good question so i usually do disinfect it with rubbing alcohol and then i will rinse it under water Hopefully that's right. I've seen people do it straight to their face too. I think you could probably do it either way as long as it's disinfected for about 10 to 15 minutes before and after. You will be fine. You will be the bee's knees. Am I the owner of Vanish? No, Daisy is the owner of Vanish. Dazers, 89. I'm just a girl with a squirrel. How can we get the product? I'm from Oman. Yeah, they do deliver and, or they do, yeah. Deliver. I was right the first time. They do deliver internationally, so if you check out their website, they should deliver to you. Does Vanish reduce small pigment spots after a month or scar? It doesn't increase your scarring. Um, yeah, it should help to reduce your any hyperpigmentation that you have, any redness. Um, it will reduce scarring, but it won't increase it. Is that a tattoo? <laughs> No, it's fake. It's fake. Uh, you guys are so funny. Um, do you use any bash products to make your makeup look better? Yes, the vitamin C cream. Y'all, vitamin C cream. Put it on and then put your makeup on. You don't even need a primer or anything. It works amazing. Or you can use the banish oil and mix a couple of drops. My hands are like down here. Mix a couple of drops of that with a couple, couple of your uh, liquid. I feel like you can put the banish oil in anything though. I don't know, just me. I'm like oil here, oil there. 
oil everywhere. Which product is best for acne scars? Uh, the Banisher and the Banish Oil, I think, is the best for acne scars. I do think the other ones work. They work really well um, for acne scars and acne. I think they're more targeted towards acne. Um, but the Derma Roller is going to get in there and make your skin force it to reproduce collagen. Can you still wear makeup the next day after rolling? Yes, you can. I actually, I don't know why, I'm like superstitious. I'm like, oh, maybe my skin's still like fresh. So I don't put anything on, um, but you can. I've done it before and you'll be completely fine. So I usually wait like 24 hours, but you can definitely do it the next day. You can resume everything the next day. Mom, why are you on here? What are you doing, girl? Will you do a makeup tutorial on your YouTube channel? Um, I could ask the Acne channel if you guys want me to. I just, I mean, I'm not like a, I love makeup and I kind of work at a makeup place, but I'm not like, I don't want to say I'm pretty professional. I'm like the opposite, I'm unprofessional. Uh, if food has a large impact on your skin, should you, oh, should, what can I read? Should you eat spicy food, how much water to drink to have a beautiful skin? Drink as much water as you can. I have never been a big pop drinker, so it wasn't hard for me. Um, but yeah, try to drink as much as water, as much as, as much water as you can. Uh, I usually drink probably about, I think the recommended is like seven. I, I can never, I usually drink this like big, big, big guy. And I probably drink like four of those. And yes, I do think food has a decent impact on your skin. Um, there are no studies that link it, but I do think it does have an impact on your skin because if you aren't, if you can't digest the food correctly, then your body isn't working correctly and then your body's stressing out and then your skin's stressing out and then you're breaking out. Bam. What do you do with the banished oil? Rub it on your face. <laughs> After you derma roll, rub it on your face or pat it. Like this. Does it hurt to roll? No, it does not hurt to roll. Are you the creator? I'm not the creator, that's baby's hers. I thought it was an Asian woman who founded the company. Yes, it is. It is an Asian woman who founded the company. What does the pumpkin enzyme mask do? Awesome! The pumpkin enzyme mask works to just like gently exfoliate any like dead skin or excess skin cells that you have, and it also works to brighten your skin. I love it. And it smells like pumpkin pot, but don't eat it because it doesn't taste good. You would think that it tastes good, but it doesn't taste good. Well, you are what you eat. Yes, I am what I eat. I am green tea. Did you get a new, why? Guys, it's not a tattoo, I promise. It's fake, it's fake, it's fake. It's just a little metal trash cat. If you were to pick one thing to get as banished to help acne the most, what would you get? For acne or acne scars? For acne, I would get the activated charcoal mask because it will pull out all the oil, all the oil, all the oil. Who knows? I can't talk, you know, so we're talking words are hard. Um, so the activated charcoal mask will pull out all the oil and it will help with like blackheads, it will help with your blemishes. I actually have been using it as like a spot treatment on this guy too. Frederick III, I think was his name, uh, just before bed and then right off in the morning. I think that's helped. On a scale of one to 10, how much has banished skincare products improved your skin? Nine, like the most. I mean, I would think 10 would be like a miracle product works in one day, but I don't think a 10 exists because I just don't think it exists. So nine, it has improved my skin a lot. Um, I'm actually surprised because it's kind of hard with like influencers and other people on Instagram what to believe. But for me personally, you know, I am telling you guys, it does, it works and you will be happy if you decide to invest or buy it. Thank you for saying I look amazing. Girl, you look amazing too. So if you guys have watched my lives before, did you like this better with the natural lighting or did you like um, my little white room better? Let me know because I need to know. The needle roller works 
people. So yes, it works. Yes, it works. It works. I have the worst scars. Try Vanish Girl. Yes, get it, get it. Would you use Vanish if you have really dry skin? Yeah, I think that Vanish works. Ooh, the lighting just got really blue. Um, ooh, mama me, mama me. I would use Vanish if I have really dry skin. Yes, I think that it works well on all skin types. Um, I have oily skin. I know people who have taken Accutane and other skin is dry and it works great for them. If you guys check out Vanish Warriors, if you are skeptical about products, um, check them out and it, you can see people using it every single day and how it's improving their skin as well. Can't wait for my delivery to come. Yes. Okay. I'm such a dweeb because I seriously wrote down like all this stuff. You guys are so sweet. Oh my God. What was the best doctor prescribed medication you used aside from Banish? Um, well, I was on Accutane, so that was the best. And then besides that, for scarring, I would use retin. That dries out your skin so bad. And I kind of wanted to get away from like, you know, the man-made chemical type deal. Can't wait for my delivery to come. Yes. Pumpkin mask is my fave. Me too. It's so good. How often should I roll? I do it a couple times a week, but I want to see fast. No, 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 no girl. Come on. Who? Sam. Oh, Sam. Samantha. Samantha. Don't do it more than twice a week. Um, actually, doing it more than that will not increase your chances of collagen producing faster. It's actually going to do the opposite. I know it sounds weird, but you need to give your skin time to reproduce new collagen. If you're doing it like more than once a week, you're actually just, you keep uh, creating micro channels in your skin and you're not giving your skin time to repair and heal itself. So try to do it. I know it's hard, but you got to wait. You got to do it every two weeks. And that is like the max that you want to do it. Where did you say to watch for the results? Um, you can look at my Instagram and my Instagram is my face story my face story like a book like a story um do dermatologists agree with derma rolling um i go half and half yeah but i think that it also takes away from them because it's something that you can do on your own so i think that's part of the reason that some of them don't agree with it you know because you're not going to them anymore you're doing like your own thing so maybe some of them don't agree with it because of the whole money thing for how long do you use dermal or for after the first use? You can use it four times. Um, I've heard some people using it like five or six times. I would not go over that. I would throw it away probably after four times. Um, so that's about two months. How about the aloe vera oil? Do you use it too? I don't. I wish I did. I want to try it really bad, but I tried it yet. So uh, I think A. Nicole Nelson, she's one of the Bash Warriors. I think she uses it and she really loves it. So I would check hers out. Love both masks, amazing. Yes, girl, yes, get the mask. I am a maskaholic. Even if something doesn't work, I'll be like, mask, 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 mask. Which oil do I recommend? Uh, for what? Uh, for scarring, banish oil hyperpigmentation, vanish oil, or organic rosehip seed oil. For acne, you can use vanish oil. I also like to use tea tree oil. Girl, Fanny Hernandez, you are so beautiful. You are the beauty of all. Best drugstore foundation, uh, L'Oreal Infallible Matte Pro if you have oily skin, L'Oreal Pro Glow if you have normal or dry skin. Jesse R, Jesse Jr. Honestly, I've been in the of my life this past year I have been using hydrocortisone and that helps but I was prescribed tretinoin but it really burns my face and I'm really sad so I was using tretinoin uh, retin-a I think that's yeah the same thing um, so I was using that but then I switched to banish oil and honestly I feel like my skin looks way better like tretinoin was like you said making my skin really irritated and drying it out the banish oil just keeps it hydrated and I feel like it smooths everything over. Works 
so good, so good. What do you recommend to reduce redness due to pimples and hyperpigmentation? Spanish oil, rosehip oil, natural remedies, good for scars. Oh, same question. Banish oil, y'all. Banish oil. Yes. Get that oil, girl. Get that oil, boy. I was told to do urine. Girl. What? What? Do not do urine. Please don't do. Please. Please. For me. Please don't do urine. Please. Three months. I have honestly seen such a change. But I have red dots and cystic pimples though. I don't, I don't even, please don't, just please. You should try the vanish oil. It's not urine, but I promise it will work just as good. I promise. Vanish, this will be my fourth month of using Vanish. So I've been using it for a good while. What are your views on Accutane? So I can do like a whole nother thing on Accutane. I could talk about Accutane for days. So we will do that next time. And I'll talk to you guys about that. I remind you of April. Everybody says I look like April from Grey's Anatomy. Have not seen it. I need to see it. Um, but I also heard that she was annoying. And I'm like, dude, come on. I don't, I don't want to be annoying. How many deers where you live? Ah, ha, ha, saw your Snapchat. I don't know. It's kind of awesome though. I go outside and it's like the wild west. There is like a stray dog running down the street and then there was a pack of like five deers over there and then I saw two raccoons running down the road. I have no clue. It's lit y'all. It's crazy out in front of my house. How old am I? I'm 22 y'all. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. I'm not good at singing, but I don't really care. 15 years old, have so many scars. Do Okay, well, it's moving fast. 15 years old, I had so many scars. Do you think I should buy the banished scars or just leave them? Um, yeah, no, I wouldn't leave them because I think that it doesn't matter, like, what stage your scarring's at, even if it's older or newer, like, the banished kit will work just as good. But I have heard from dermatologists that the newer the scar is, the easier it is to treat because the scar tissue is softer. Um, so if you're not letting it to harden, not letting it harden and leaving it softer, then yeah, I think that the Banish Kit will work great for you if your scars are new. Works just as good if they're old, but I think it'll work faster. Okay, you guys, so I heard my timer go off like a long time ago, so <laughs> I was supposed to be done a while ago talking about my acne story. I feel like I didn't, I just answered questions. I don't even know. Hopefully you guys heard me talk about it enough. Um, I mean, I feel like regardless of your age, how long you have it, et cetera, et cetera. Acne just, it makes you feel isolated, makes you feel bad. Um, you just gotta be better than that. To stay confident, I feel like it's key because people will, your face is like the first thing that people see. So I feel like people, you know, they do judge you, but don't let it get you down because as long as you're confident and know that you're beautiful and you're amazing and you're worth it, because you are, then yeah, basically fake it till you make it. As long as you believe in yourself, then other people will start believing in you too. And I feel like that is so true. So I wrote down, <laughs> I'm so lame. I wrote down some like takeaway points. So I wanted to say, and make sure I said all these things. So remember that having extreme acne or any acne is not your fault um, and that you're doing all that you can. And remember that there's nothing wrong with you and anything to deserve it. And then people always ask me about dating, about relationships, um, you know, about friendships, et cetera, et cetera. And for that, I have to say that anyone who loves you or that really matters in your life, they won't care. They won't care at all if you have acne or not. If they care, then Honestly, it's seriously that Dr. Seuss quote, and I wrote it down. Um, those that matter don't mind, and those who mind don't matter. It's seriously as simple as that. Like, if they care, bye, Felicia. If you don't care, then awesome. Um, and just remember that acne physically cannot last forever. Even if you're like 80 years old and have flawless skin, it has to go away at some point. 
And yeah. I guess that's all I have to say, guys. And thank you for tuning in. If you want to, feel free to follow me on my face story. Um, and I will be updating you guys on my acne star, star, acne scar progress as I use the Mesh Acne Scars starter kit. Goodbye.